think we are recording. Okay, we are. Um, so this is a tutorial actually how to download Schematica. Um, and it comes with printers, so it's pretty good. <coughs> Just look up Schematica. Schematica. Um, it depends which version you want. Schematica 1.8 or 1.9. You want to click on 1.9 because just because universal is basically the best one to get um click download which I already have it downloaded yeah just click um click this one right here and yep yeah, and then you should just download it I already have it downloaded keep it's not gonna hurt you um okay so now <clears throat> all you wanna do is Obviously, everybody does this percent. Nope, no caps. Which I don't know for real fact it app data. And then percent again. Let me bring this over here. Dot Minecraft. Like always. Oh, yeah. Well, you got, you got your schematica, right? First, you got your schematica. So, for it next, I forgot the next one, something. You wanna. Next, you want to download Forge 1.8. Not download. Um, not that. Wait, no, not that. Forge, right here. It will look like this. You want to download it for Windows, whatever you have. skip so you got your forge now you gotta want to click run it here we go okay so after you this comes up then press install client don't change anything press ok which I already have so it's in, um you get your three files right here. Okay. The last thing you need is the ludicrous core ludicrous core one dot nine eight dot nine. Uh, this is the last thing you need. And you do this basically the same thing, click on that, and just download it. Keep. So you got your three files, right? So now you want to go to this. You want to go to versions. Now we got Jigsaw, Skill, Wolf, Xena, all this. Okay. Just drop. Just only drop Forge in here. Don't just only drop Forge. I already have it, so I'm not gonna drop it in there. But only drop Forge. Also, you need to run 1.8.9 before you install this. So make sure you do that. So once you drop that in there, I already have it in there, right here. Um. So yeah. Next, you want to go. You want to make a. Um, if you don't have multiple folder, make one. You just want to uh, get Schematica, drop it in there. Ludicrous, drop it in there. And then, yeah, you should be good. If you want to add anything else, you can do that. Also, you want to make a schematics little schematics um, folder. So, yeah. And then you should be ready. So. Oh, yeah. Restart your uh, Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Okay. You get your mind. Okay. Well, it's already there for me because I already have it installed. First, you want to go to Add New. Um, and then all our clients and everything. It'll be at the bottom. 1.8.9 Forge. And then you just press Add New. You can pick your icon. I honestly always pick netherrack because or bedrock something that just looks so you know it's that <coughs> it's easier to find and then you just uh, it should be at the bottom if if you read mine's at the top because I just played it click that wait for it to load kind of lagging because I'm at Okay. 
it's gonna load like this. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna load. It's just loading everything, like Maddox and everything. You're going in a server, right? Uh, for instance, we will go to Skycade, I guess. Because that's my the second server that I play on. I'm not going to show chords or anything. I will have to bleep that out if I do, because, like, that would be bad. You can just go to anything. I play computers. Okay. So you. Oh my gosh. Why? Dude, it's like no laggy. This is why I do not record on the laptop. Anyways. The top right of the keyboard, there should be, um, like a slash. You, you want to press that slash. Just that one slash. So you, this is where you can load all your schematics and everything. Like, uh, for instance, I will load in Modern House got your modern house here. For instructions, it's basically that easy. For printer, which is built in, which is why you need the ludicrous mod and all that. But okay, at the top right again, there should be like a minus slash underscore. I'm gonna press that. Right here you got printer and turn it on. Some faction servers is not allowed, but I'm pretty sure it is on this one, because I've seen tons of people use it. So, um... We're not going to be using that, but it'll auto-place It's very useful. And if you want to move your thing, you can just do this. Um, you press the, the slash, or no, the, um, the minus key again, and you can change the coordinates. You can rotate it. You can flip. You can flip it again. You can move here, move there, hide. Hiding is very useful. Um, you can do up, south, east, all that good stuff. And then here, this is the probably the most important thing. You can check how many materials you need. So there's quite a bit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like button and um, and sub button because like my channel's dead. So yeah, thanks for watching. The crap. Hold up. When we're sc okay, whatever. <laughs> so here was what I was talking about. Top left, or top right, I meant slash change. You can open schematic full, drop schematics. I told you to. Just load in. Press done. You can do all that. And then top right, there's a minus key. You press that. There should be a minus key. You can press printer on, check materials, how much you need. That's most probably the most useful thing. You can hide your thing, you can move here, you can flip, you can rotate, you can um you can make it north, all that, you can change coordinates. So that's basically how you use it. Um if you want something else to help you, you can go to options, controls, go down here. schematic um so yeah um you can divide all this you can change it to anything you want next layer previous layer save schematic toggle it is very simple like this is how you're hiding your schematic okay that is me press that button it's just very dark in my room right now you can press hide and it, it just gets rid of it so it's, it's really good you can use Base schematics up to basically you can do anything with schematic. You can build anything anywhere. This is just helped out um people that do not know what schematic is. Don't like they may knew what know what schematic is. They just don't know how to use it. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And.
Peace.